Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another political episode. So today we have some news from like a day ago, 18 hours ago, whenever you're getting this news. Pretty fresh news. Donald Trump is pulled in more than 35 million in the second quarter. That is like three months. Uh, five months, whatever I got that from. Uh, so that's a really big, uh, th that shows how a lot of support that Trump has. Meanwhile, Ron DeSantis has 20 million, $15 million behind the former president. Uh, does this say well of his polling? Well, uh, it, we will be taking a look at that in a little bit, but we will see it here according to these news stories. Uh, some sources have doubts of the president on if he actually raised uh, $35 million. Uh, so But most people, most sources are saying that that is true as I am looking at. So uh, even the left wing, the Hill, has also... Uh, is uh, projecting this Trump pulled in more than 35 million in the second quarter. Uh, I have seen one source saying, yeah, but yeah. they're saying, but uh, if it's really accurate, they're doubting it's, but I, I'm also saying, okay, a lot it's tr Donald Trump has got uh, tons of support in this campaign. He is, easily probably going to be the Republican nominee for president. He, I can't, I do believe he got in 35 million. Uh, one thing that Ron, Donald Trump has that uh, the other Republican candidates don't have is the morale and the momentum that uh, he, has, he is bringing. Donald Trump is establishing the idea that Joe Biden has embarrassed this country. Uh, and, I would say that's uh he 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 has used using that to his advantage. Uh, a lot of Republicans, ninety percent, uh, I do feel that way. So using and weaponizing that uh is really and instead of like shutting down, like oh look how embarrassed America is, he is saying oh well we can fix that, we can make America great again. So that is how he's kind of weaponizing that and using that to his advantage to help uh, help him win this nomination. And I think that's kind of working, especially with the economy. Donald Trump has made uh, the United States a big economic powerhouse during his tenure in office. Uh, and a lot of uh, Republicans are turning to him uh, in order to make that go back to fix this economy once again. Uh, so when it comes to the economy, a lot of people want to are go looking at Trump. Uh, although inflation is going down slowly, uh, Amer most Americans are impatient. Like, this should have been done a long time ago. So, with acknowledging this, Ron Santos at $20 million, $15 million, 30 to 35 uh, behind, you like you really focus on the word million. Million. Wow, that's that's a lot of money. Well, we took a look at the 2024 presidential election polls, uh, and we have concluded that there has been a lot of change. Well, not that not that much, but you will see here. Ron DeSantis managed to get back Florida and from Trump. Uh, and it continues to be this way. Uh, I didn't do a video on this because this is the first time I've learned about it. Uh, so you'll see here, I did a video on Donald Trump winning at Florida by a lot. Uh, you'll see here, 42% to 34 percent. That's a lot. Well, um, 
Ron DeSantis managed to make some gains uh, from that. 40% to 39%. This poll taken about the end of May. And in early June shows Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump in a standoff. In total, Donald Ron DeSantis managed to win 14 polls to Donald Trump's 12 polls. So I feel... Florida is going to be a tough match uh, here. It's going to be a tough match. It's going to be a big standoff, just like in the state of Utah. Uh, state of Utah is uh, in is a Trump state as of right now. Still, now going to Maine, we had uh, Mike Pence winning the state of Maine. Uh, he was the preferred candidate, quote, quote, but now it kind of dropped down to 5%. Donald Trump has become a huge, he is now 59%. That poll for Mike Pence is gone because it's outdated. It's all the way to 2021. A uh, very old poll. A lot of things have shifted and changed. So, yes, Donald Trump is the leader here. And then we have 560 tossed up uh, delegations uh, here. However, it is, we have enough delegations and enough polls to uh, project Donald Trump is, has gotten the nomination according to our polls here. So what do you guys think? So yeah. There's nothing much I can say that Donald Trump has got a lot of money in the last three months, uh, which is a huge accomplishment. This race, I think you are getting more candidates than the Democrats in 2020 in their Democratic primary. Um, and despite this, Donald Trump still remains the biggest and most re biggest option out of them all. Anyway, uh, what do you guys think? Should... Is thir Donald Trump's $35 million accurate? And should Ron DeSantis is should Ron DeSantis celebrate twenty million? And anyway, I want to thank you all for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.